But let me go ahead and go over to this article that I want to read that was just posted on the Daily Beast in, we, in regards to Ryan Madison. Because this is interesting. There is something going on right now within the adult entertainment industry to where a lot of males are being accused of rape and abuse on set and off set, but more so than in the past. Actually, I made a list of who all has um, been attacked lately. And I don't think it really, any of these people are good people, <laughs> but there is something going on and it either has to do with a lot of women just starting to regret their choices of having gone into the adult entertainment industry or being unhappy with their lives, which is justifiable, or it could also have to do with wanting to um, assemble lawsuits or settle out of court legal situations to where amounts of money can be extracted from some of these men or their studios because you know times are tough right now especially for adult entertainers because of the um, pandemic but also just because of the state of the world today so yeah let's see who all's been um, you know, tossed in the spotlight lately. All right, Ron Jeremy. Did he have it coming? Yeah. Ryan Madison, like I said, this is the husband of a woman known as Kelly Madison. I actually view Kelly Madison as being more predatorial than Ryan would be, and I'll get into that in a bit. John Stagliano, that's been going on for years. But Manuel Ferreira, I'd heard shit about him definitely without a doubt his wife Caden has issues I will admit I'm on the fence when it comes to Manuel Ferreira I think he's a certain kind of guy not someone I would ever want to be friends with not anybody I would ever want to know but um, I think someone is trying to get some money out of him recently a guy named Jack Slayer was accused of some things I think when it comes to James Dean mm, I, I actually have to put James Dean and Ryan Madison in a similar category reason being that they both were cultivated into the monsters that they've become I think some of the women when it comes to James Dean told the truth but I don't think that they all did um, Brie Mills, she's a female, not a male, but, you know, she wants to dress like a guy. I don't think all the accusations against Brie are legitimate. I think some people want money out of her. When I look at the real abusers in the industry, oftentimes they don't have money at all. And they project a very feminine exterior. Mrs. Kelly Pierce, that's one. Alana Evans is one too. All right, so let's read this article. This was posted on the Daily Beast. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it's titled 10 Women Accused Porn Star Ryan Madison of Sexual Abuse. There was blood everywhere. Dun dun dun! And um, it probably doesn't help that he's cultivated a look for himself a little bit along the lines of American Psycho. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, before I get started reading this, and I will, you know, interject with my commentary as I do read through this article, I don't think he's innocent. I don't think he's innocent in the least. But I view his wife as being far more of a predator than he ever would be. There's a substantial age difference between them as well. Actually, let me look it up. I'm curious as to what the age difference is. But when you look at them, regardless of the work that the wife has had done, you can see it. Yeah, he's 43. Let me see how old Kelly Madison is. I think she's about 50. She got him 
young. <laughs> Be careful dating older women, men. Yeah, she's 52. She's 52, so that's about a nine-year age difference there. Mm-hmm. And look, it would not surprise me in the least if she's a bit behind getting these allegations out there about him because she might be about ready to trade him in for a younger model. She might be. Ten women allege that the porn star violently abused them in the middle of shooting scenes, often after his wife lured them in with promises of a safe female-fronted environment. This is written um, on, the, on the Daily Beast by Marlo Stern. Warning. So, okay, and I'm going to warn all y'all too. Some of you out there may be triggered by what I'm about to share. Okay, this article does contain graphic descriptions of sexual assault. It's a mainstream article. It's on the Daily Beast. But it's graphic. So... If you don't want to hear something graphic, stop watching right now. On June 5th, the porn actress Annabelle Red shared a warning to her 79,000 strong Twitter following. Quote, do not watch my porn fidelity scene. That man violated my boundaries. End quote. So let me give some commentary just to start. There is a small probability that this article could possibly be no more than creative marketing for the porn fidelity empire. I will question that unless criminal charges are filed against Ryan Madison, because I'm talking about this tonight due to the element of white privilege possibly shielding white, not Ryan Madison, Ryan Madison from any sort of legalities. You know, I mean, as I get into this article, you're going to see how horrific he allegedly is. But if he doesn't ever, you know, get penalized in the legal system, then I have to question, is this true? Did white privilege shield him or was it creative marketing? She proceeded to accuse her scene partner, Ryan Madison, of finishing inside her a cream pie in adult industry parlance without her consent and violently choking her until she couldn't breathe. Madison has considerable industry power with his wife. He runs a successful triple X production company, Kelly Madison Productions, which includes the brands Porn Fidelity, and teen fidelity and also directs the lion's share of his scenes but red's message managed to permeate porn's wall of silence inspiring dozens of other performers to come forward with their own madison horror stories the daily beast interviewed 10 of these women who accused the 43 year old madison of a range of violations from coercion and brutal corporal abuse to sexual assault. So I'm going to interject again. To the women out there who, um, for whatever reason, are not thinking clearly and are considering a future in the adult entertainment industry, don't do it. Because truthfully, what do you think porn really is? sure they want to paint the picture that there's all these women in control and that it's going to be this fun environment where everyone is just like getting along and it's like a community and all this kind of good stuff look the truth about the porn industry is that it tends to be a catch-all for a lot of society's throwaways it's okay to have a criminal is history in the adult entertainment industry, okay? It's actually kind of celebrated. People who are sexually aggressive, hey, the men, they often get paid even more, <laughs> you, you know? And um, 
A big problem that the adult entertainment industry has right now that they just don't want to acknowledge, aside from the race problem and aside from the misogyny issue, aside from the homophobia, really has to do with them casting women who are far too young and inexperienced and biologically not even prepared for scenes that are written for a woman who is far more mature than their years. All right. That is one of the primary issues. The, the types of sex that they are, you know, instructing these young women who are often between the ages of 18 and 21 to have biologically, they're not meant to have that kind of, um, intercourse. They're not ready for it. They're not prepared for it. The kind of intercourse that the porn industry really wants to project, they need to be casting women who are 35 and up to take part in. Seriously. The reality is they want the young girls because the young girls are easier to psychologically dominate and control. An older woman, a, a woman like me, <laughs> I was too old when I went in to begin with. I was already 29. All right. But imagine me on set today, please. If anything, I would be accused of sexual assault. <laughs> I would. Let me finish this. Okay. This is, this is the first account. Okay. Her name's Kinsley Carter. Quote, I truly did feel like I was in a horror movie. Oh, poor Kinsley. Kinsley Carter was ecstatic when Ryan Madison came calling last year. Quote, I was really excited when they reached out on Twitter because Porn Fidelity was one of the top companies on Pornhub and I really needed the exposure at the time, she recalls. Carter, who was 21 and had only been acting in adult movies for a year, had no idea how far away the shooting location was until she ordered her lift. I'm going to interject there. How do you not have access to Google Maps, Kinsley? You didn't look up the address on your Google Maps to see what the driving time would be or the mile miles away it would be before you went out to the shoot? You just relied on your lift driver? Sorry, I'm not buying that part. Like many of the women who went on record for this article, she describes taking a ride share nearly two hours from Los Angeles to the Madison Mansion in Corona, California. Ooh. Things got even murkier when she arrived, she says. There was absolutely no clarification with whether I'd be okay with things like choking or rough sex. There's usually some type of communication before, but there was absolutely none at all, she says. All right, I'm going to stop here. There was no communication, not with her. Now, there what? there is communication with other girls, as you'll see as I go further into this article, but not with Kinsley. And you want to know why or why I think it is? Because Kinsley looks a little bit like me. She's a black girl. And the way that the Madison shoots go, first the girl gets her hair and makeup and pretty girl photos, still photos, where she's solo done with the women, you know, because it's supposed to be like a women run company, except for Ryan. But these are probably mostly white women. Kelly Madison is a blonde. You know, she's constantly trying to be like Pamela Anderson. That's her look. Okay. And, um, Kelly might have had an issue with Kinsley because a lot of times when older white women, um, especially in the adult industry, encounter a younger black woman, it's very intimidating to them because they know that the white guy in their life has this thing in their head of, ooh, fresh black meat. Yes, finally something different than this old blonde hag. It's true. I know I'm a little brash in how I said that, but th that's just the psychology of the, of the situation, okay? So she had that going on. Now, what Kinsley should have done 
prior to this shoot, however, was taking a look at some of the porn fidelity scenes that Ryan is in. Ryan is known to be rough in his scenes. There's this one scene that he did with um, Brooklyn Lee that I saw a preview of years ago and has something to do with apples and he's abusing her and then he throws her into a pool at the end i think it was ryan madison who did was, was the male in that scene it was weird there's another one that he did to where it's like he's a slave owner like from pre-civil war times with um a performer who was known as skin diamond and they're in like this slave shack and he's doing shit to her it's horrible so you, you know, it's not like it's not known, but Kinsley didn't do her research. She did not do her research. So there was no communication before the scene. You, you know, it's, it's horrible. She probably should have just stayed a cam girl solo. Never should have gone into the industry to begin with. So let's continue. They began with a blowjob scene and he was rough. So rough that my whole salad came up. End quote. She remembers. Quote, I was sitting there covered in puke, so he rushed to the shower, turned it on, and I was in there for 10 minutes just crying because I couldn't believe what was happening. I thought, wow, I woke up excited as hell to be here, and now I'm stuck with this man alone in the middle of nowhere. I truly did feel like I was in a horror movie. I bet she did. I bet she did. I hope that she um, has decided to go on with her life outside of the industry. I'll have to look at her Twitter later. Then came the sex portion, which was even rougher. Carter says she sensed that something wasn't right, as if her body was being torn to pieces. Then he asked, are you ready for me to come in you? She was confused. There's typically at least some discussion before a cum shot sequence. She reluctantly said yes, she says, because she didn't want to break character and didn't think he'd actually follow through with it. And he came inside her twice. Remember what I was talking about at the beginning of this podcast about white males in the industry? getting black women pregnant on purpose and then coercing or forcing or pressuring them into having abortions later. The adult entertainment industry, which I've gone over in the past is, um, you know, has its foundations rooted in white supremacy. Something that they do in that world, the white males, and it is like a game for them, almost like a rite of passage because they do laugh about it. They talk about it openly on forums. They think it's funny. Um, they purposely target black women. They lure the they lure the women into thinking that they're having a relationship with them. They get the woman pregnant and then they either force or coerce the woman into having an abortion. And as soon as she has the abortion, they go on their online forums and they laugh about it. I'm not lying. They get off on that. It's weird. It's like a rite of passage for them. It's a racist thing for them. It's a white supremacy badge of honor for them. It is. I was disgusted, she remembers. And when I got up from the bed, I could barely walk. I just cried in the lift all the way home. <laughs> then I went to the bathroom when I got home and realized there was blood everywhere on the toilet seat. He had ripped me apart. I was bleeding for the next two days and it was difficult to pee or sit down. He definitely has to be my worst experience in porn. Now, she did not say if it was her time of the month or not, okay? 
but maybe he did maybe he did because other women in this article say something similar and it makes me wonder like what is he doing to be ripping these girls apart is it because they're so tense that they're not comfortable and that's what's causing the bleeding or is there something on his that he puts on himself to hurt these girls you know there there have been rumors of guys doing that kind of thing so anyway kinsley carter that's what she claims happened to her she says that she felt that she couldn't speak up because she was new and not established in the industry also because she's black at the end of the day no one else was on my side or knew what went on except for me and him the main reason i'm speaking out now is because i didn't have any warning i want to warn other girls about him she says like carter okay so then it goes on to another girl but um i'll bet you it was more so kelly who pressured these women into silence opposed to this guy because this guy has basically been he's been conditioned and groomed into being like a sexual animal a maniac you can just tell and i think a lot of this also has to do with him consistently likely being around some older women.